Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the vlog from Templeton to Morrow Bay road trip. And as we know that Templeton is located towards slightly northwest of LA. And then Morrow Bay is located towards slightly southwest of Templeton. So yeah, this is a vlog from August 2022 and I hope you enjoy it. So it's morning, actually it's afternoon and we are heading to Morrow Bay Tea Pier and this is the beautiful Templeton city and it's so beautiful, it's filled with trees, houses, ranches and it has so many mountains, like quite green mountains actually covering and surrounding the area. It's comparatively, of course, hotter here compared to the beach. Beaches are always cooler, but this is very green too. Like you can find some nice shaded hikes and you can also visit the ranches. And this is the month of August. So it's definitely peak summer in USA, in California. And if you remember, I have made an entire playlist of San Luis Obispo County and this is also San Luis Obispo County so one more video going to be added in that playlist this is the city of Templeton which is very close to the beaches like Avila like Pismo Morro Bay and Morro Bay is like world famous beach so like we are definitely going to visit that Last time when we went to Rio Grande, we couldn't make it to Morro Bay, but this time we have specially come to visit Morro Bay and enjoy our birthday. And Not our birthday, birthday his birthday. birthday. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you some interesting things that we find on the way and enjoy this road trip. So we are merging onto freeway now. We are taking 101 in the direction of south and we are heading to Morro Bay. So you can see the weather is okay a bit hot it's 98 degrees fahrenheit but we don't have traffic because we are here on the weekdays so it's always better if you can plan your trips on weekdays because you can avoid the heavy traffic but if you can't then anyway you have to be where you want to be right so heading to morrow bay the residential area in templeton San Luis Obispo County is like very yeah. green, very beautiful, full of ranches and you know the the paleo lifestyle kind of. Mm -hmm. Not exactly paleo but kind of. <clears throat> far far different than city life definitely. People here drive more like SUVs, trucks, four cross four, like the powerful vehicles. We have seen like very few Teslas and very few uh, luxury cars. They more travel in like SUVs and more sturdy vehicles because of course they have to travel long distances. That guy just took like turn without any signal. All of a sudden. Yeah, like some people sometimes they think like... I think you need to be more careful driving in like, like a different city, yeah. Yeah, California. People, yeah, yeah, definitely. They're not used to like laws. First time I'm seeing like green bike lanes. Otherwise, in rural California, you don't find all the bikes. And I bicycles. think uh, Templeton is like Mixed. a town that that is like close to like all world famous beaches. So like a lot of people also take rentals here, mm -hmm. like long term rentals. So. I have seen like a couple of rentals over there like last night when we went to the grocery yeah. store and I think people do take houses on rent and they live for long term and even people from cities I think want like slightly different life from the regular city life so you can come here you can just have a nice time <laughs> visiting the ranches if you're into horse riding this is the place for you you can definitely horse ride see people are just like walking oh. yeah like oh. you know for some people summer <laughs> is like the best time oh Whoa. was that a eagle i think so 
So like for some people, like summer is the best time. For me, I personally prefer winters because I just can't bear the heat. Like That's the road. too much. Like this. Uh, yeah, this is. It's all shaded. This is shaded. This is filled with, you know, all these beautiful trees and beautiful, gorgeous views. But sometimes you are just driving on the desert. That's not my thing, honestly. But yeah, you can enjoy that too, like once in a while. Look, look at those dinosaurs. Oh, wow. It's very beautiful how some ranches have been developed here. Like people put so many thoughts, so many efforts to like make it people friendly, make it, you know, tourist friendly. It's really amazing how much efforts they put in. And of course, it's a nice business for them too. And I think we should support such businesses because when you come here, you can experience a part of their life and it's worth experiencing so that you can decide if in future, you want to do things like that or not. So like the Morro Bay is famous for bird watching, you told? Yeah, I think uh, Morro Bay is famous for bird watching. They have sea otters and of course the ocean. And uh, I think there's like a volcanic rock, which is really famous. I think it's one of the last remaining volcanic rocks. It's preserved by government. Wow, really? So I think, yeah. I just read on the internet that it's, it belongs to nine volcanic rocks. Wow. They're together called as nine sisters. Wow. And one of the nine sisters is in Morocco. Oh, wow. I so, hope we can see that. Yeah. I think uh, if you just be, if you're just near the water, you can see the rock because it's so huge. You cannot oh. miss it. So if you go anywhere, you're going to see the rock. Wow. Right now, we're heading towards the pier. Morro Bay Tea Pier. Okay. And once we go to the pier, we can see the rock. So okay. that's one of the famous places. And then we're gonna eat something, depending on how hungry we are, and then we're gonna try and maybe rent a boat mm -hmm. if possible. But if not, then of course uh, see the water lake, visit some stores, do some shopping, buy some. Uh, one lane road so ahead. Souvenir. So I think the road is closed for construction, so you have to be careful. What's, what was was this sign? Like watch and travel, like because I think one side of the road is then be closed. To stop. Okay. Yeah, I think there must be some road construction going on. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. So they have blocked the road. Oh, I think some road maintenance. Oh, I think they're chopping the trees. I don't know. Or electricity. Wow. I always <laughs> love to see these kind of... Oh God, we have seen so yeah. many times, right? On all our trips. So, the temperature has already dropped like 12 to 13 degrees. And now we are going through like a national forest area yeah. and it's just 15 minutes drive from here to Morro Bay Beach Pier. Oh god, be careful. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Like you really gotta watch your speed because these surprising roads can, you know, turn into a disaster if you're not careful. Roads are like snakes. Because the views are so amazing, sometimes you, you get, get distracted. <laughs> but you have to follow all these things, otherwise. Always have a coffee. Yeah, you always. Yeah. Keep coffee. Always have a coffee and keep yeah. yourself, you know, light on food so that you don't feel sleepy. Anyway, you won't feel sleepy with this view, but just in case if you're driving for too long, sometimes it can be scary, especially with an infant. Whoa. So, like. But look at this gorgeous the road. Whoa. 98 degrees Fahrenheit when we started. No. Then it was 88 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so it's just getting colder and that's really good. We don't have to burn our ACs that much. And 
uh, I think at the beach you might even need a sweater yeah. or like a cardigan something yeah, like <laughs> like some jacket or something we we're totally unprepared for the beach I don't know like totally forgot to keep our jackets and I we mean, couldn't even imagine like the there we can feel cold but I think we might feel cold right? yeah summers, like who who carries a sweater in a desert or in summers but here like you know within like few miles like yeah. 40 miles or something like weather can change so much so yeah lesson learned always keep a jacket in your car These are the avocado farms so this is how the avocado tree looks Obispo County is known for its farming, its produce, its like citrus farms and like in general like California is known for its citrus farming, vineyards and things like that.